As the present day government in Nigeria talks a lot about transformation agenda from all sector, today the Nigerian Society of Engineers, to be specific, the Marine Engineering and Naval Architecture MENA Division is bringing to the general public an annual lecture and annual general meeting for major stakeholders afterward. Now today you're going to be listening to an erudite professor from the River State University of science and technology and he's going to be championing the course for a unique one the team for this event in case you want to know is maximizing the potential and contributions of marine engineers and naval architects in national transformation agenda my name is christopher morris i am your host for this event i'll see you in a bit all right this is be your organizational goals and objectives my name is Isinde Johnson. I am a passionate ICT professional in Nigeria. My name is Akimbo Adebomi, Adiola Konafto. My name is Professor Adenike Oshofison, the fourth female professor of computer science in Nigeria. You're watching. You are watching. You are watching. You are watching Win TV 247. Don't you touch that dial. Okay, we've heard a lot from the Nigerian government about transformation agenda. And today, the Nigerian Society of Engineers. MENA divisions to be precise is bringing major stakeholders together for an annual lecture and an annual general meeting afterward um, and uh, we're privileged to be standing with the chairman of this MENA division so please uh, do us the honor of introducing yourself and tell us a little bit about MENA division of NSE okay thank you my name is um, engineer cookie Anthony Rebo and the uh, chairman of marine engineering and naval architecture, that's what you have as MENA. Okay, sir. Yes, Marine and Naval Architecture, the, the division of Nigeria Society of Engineers. Engineers. All right, sir. This division was um, created in November 2006. Okay. That's when we, when we became a division. And it is just to give the marine engineers and naval architects a place of practice mm. in this sector of the economy wow. to be able to showcase what we are and what we can do yes, sir. and this sector of the economy requires expertise okay. and it is by developing these human resources that you can affect this sector of the economy okay sir for a long time we have been dependent on foreign let me call them interventions yes, sir. and experts hmm. but today we can say we have very qualified very experienced and practicing marine engineers and naval architects. Wow, this is cool. We, we, are, we are talking about uh, shipbuilding, ship maintenance, hot structures all over Nigeria. This is a coastal nation, mind you. Mm. And therefore, employment means you have to develop the areas that you must that must create room for employment. Okay, so That's what we are saying. All right. And therefore, Nigeria has a population that is very enterprising. And you have a coastal area that is very open to seaborne trade. Wow. Therefore, you are demanded to develop your hmm. Local human content. resources wow. as to create employment for people okay. and then create an economic transaction yes. that will accommodate this population. Right. MENA has come out to be able to advise the government on the mode. You, you see, you can just get up one morning and say you want to do some money, but no. Nigeria is not waking up late, though we are not waking up at the right time okay. to occupy our, our position. But now, you have to be very systematic in approaching this sector of the economy, you know, right, to develop sir. it. Okay. You know, recently, if you, if you listen to radio yesterday, I mean, uh, on Wednesday, yeah. the government came out with a decision, a policy to build uh, 58 billion naira um, shipbuilding mm -hmm. facility. facility okay. We were not contacted, we were mm -hmm. not told. It, it is good, but it's not the way to go for now. Our argument is this, and remains this. One, there are certain things that must be in place before you put up a shipyard. Okay. One is power. Without the government, they are doing something about it. The next one is the steel base, because a ship is 80% steel, steel work. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. And therefore, if you have the power, which is electricity, you should have the steel base before you talk of shipbuilding. Okay. You, you understand it? Now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So these three things must come in place. One is the power. Uh -huh. Two is 
the steel, the steel itself three is the expertise okay now we can conveniently say we have the expertise because there are naval architects to design and there are marine engineers to build, build. Okay. but no power yet hmm. okay so i want to thank you for that sir. Uh -huh. now today this annual lecture yes. a professor is coming from the river state university uh, yes, he'll be right. speaking to this noble audience today tell us about what you're expecting in the agm2 election tell us yes. a little bit the Professor K. D. H. Bob Manuel, who happened to be my supervisor some years ago, wow. is coming <laughs> in to enlighten the family okay. on the resource gap, the human resource gap, okay. and the challenges that we are facing now as far as training of Nigerian is concerned. Right. In, we are looking at it at ship traffic and getting those who we are training on board ships to be able to have sea time as to qualify professionally to run ships okay sir so he's coming to let us know the gaps All and right. the challenges, challenges and how we can now brainstorm on how best the way we forward hmm. we can fill up this sir, I want to thank you very much and that. the agm is just to hold elections because i've held the the the, the, the stand Wow. I've, I've held the, uh, the boat for two years now, wow. and I'm growing up to become an ex-official. So we are bringing in new hands. Okay. We sit behind and advise them. We took it from the beginning, and we have taken it so far. Yes, sir. And it is good. So we are all there, and we will continue okay, with sir. them until all right. we see Nigeria clearly written as a power in the maritime sector. Sir, so, um, do us the honor of introducing yourself, and tell us what are your expectations from this event? Um, I am an engineer, JCOG, a marine engineer, um, by profession, retired from the Nigerian Navy, okay. and uh, was uh, part of uh, the people who initially uh, set in motion the creation of uh, the Marine Engineers Division of uh, the wow. Nigerian Society of Engineers. Wow, this is interesting. I'm so happy that uh, this event is taking off today because it has been long overdue and I believe that it will be one of the ways of projecting the marine engineers, especially in the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Hitherto, the Nigerian Society of Engineers had lumped marine engineers under the category of uh, mechanical engineers, which is a sort of a misnomer, so to say. Okay. And then since uh, they approved uh, the formation of uh, this division um, i am so happy and i believe mm. that this activity of today will be one of those things that we project the marine engineers one in the nigerian society of engineers and secondly in the maritime profession for them to realize that in nigerian maritime industry okay. we cannot do without uh, marine engineers thank you very much we just use one minute 40 seconds we still have um, about 20 seconds to go we just want to hear your words on local content promotion in this particular sector um uh, the local content uh, aspect is something that uh, is not been very much uh, so much into the expectations mm. uh, especially given the fact that um, the aspirations is that at least 90 percent of uh, the maritime industry should contain uh, over um, the local people, yes, local sir. professionals, okay. but that doesn't seem to be so. Okay. More so as some people who are operating ships, so to say, rely so much on, not on the professionals, but uh, people who are not very skilled or who are not academically and professionally qualified, qualified. to do the wow. job because the marine engineer is supposed to be professionally qualified and expensive. But um, those who are operating ships tend to be cutting corners by not engaging the, the real properly qualified professionals. And that is why somewhere today we're still having problems in the shipping industry as far as maintenance of uh, our vessels are concerned. So I want to thank you very much. Okay, in case you want to know, the highlight of this event is hinged on the lecture itself. 
and this is going to be delivered by an erudite professor from the River State University of Technology. But if I'm not correct, he's here to tell us who he is and where he's coming from. Yes. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yes. Please, um, for the records, do us the honor of introducing yourself. I'm uh, Engineer Professor Kelvin Bob Manuel, okay. uh, former head of uh, Marine Engineering Department, pioneer, and uh, also I think the, f the only professor and only professor of marine engineering in Nigeria, probably in sub-Saharan Africa, because uh, from the internet, I haven't seen any other professor in sub-Saharan Africa. Yes, yeah, but uh, I don't know, even in South Africa, Google, I haven't seen. So, uh, but uh, I pray that uh, more professors should come behind me. Well, thank you very yes. much for that. Sir. This is excellent. So, um, let's have you tell us how it feels being invited as the guest speaker for this noble front burner issue in this sector of course i've presented quite uh, a lot of papers in the uh, united states okay in britain in germany and in many in many forums are presented and they fit it wise to invite me to give this on no no lecture as, uh, as a guest lecturer okay. like as a guest lecturer for this uh, very important okay. occasion. Thank you, sir. So let's talk about local content. Do you think the Nigerian government is doing much in this particular sector in promoting local content? You people are the practitioners, but we have a lot of projects going on in this industry, but we don't see you playing it. Tell us. Okay. Um, today, you will probably hear more of okay. the uh, cabotage you know whether it is playing its part and the local content okay sir. local content as it is as it pertains to marine engineering um, employment of marine engineering okay. in the oil and gas and in the shipping industry we are far below wow it's not the okay. local content is far below right. uh, what we expect okay that means today we're going to be listening to how oh, this is yes. going to change yes sir. that is that is that is you no know, the main focus of my you know, lecture today okay sir. the skill gap you know in the in this sector okay and the, how how the local content and the, the cabotage you know law act you right, know sir. is they playing its role whether it is playing or not today you know as a pressman you will hear it more well and they take more notes and then publish it and they tell the world thank you very that much that nigeria sir. is doing a lot in the, uh, implementing the cabotage act as it's supposed to be mm -hmm. or the local content as it pertains to the marine engineering and naval architecture you know, sector today you will hear it yourself thank you very much sir, lastly, let's hear you talk about these organizers this division, the MENA division, yes. what are your words for them and what are your recommendations for them to do more of this? Yes, we are the pioneers and one of the pioneers of uh, the MENA NSC, okay. you know, because we need it. It's a very important branch of the Nigeria Society of Engineers okay. and we pioneered it. To, uh, I you know, couldn't because of the distance from Port Harcourt to um, Lagos, mm -hmm. you know, and I've also retired. Wow, <laughs> I'm not tired. Okay, sir. In the profession. Thank you so, very much, sir. Uh, I still support them, whatever they are doing. Anytime, any moment, they should invite me to support. I'll be there to support them. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. You just had it now from a veteran practitioner, uh, one of his kind in Nigeria and the continent of Africa, bringing the best of this particular sector, the MENA division of. Nigerian Society of Engineers, Sir Issa has been an awesome experience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you Bye. when he's ready inside. Right. Bye -bye. Queen TV 247. We cover the coverage globally from Africa to Asia, America, the Middle East, and Europe.